Welcome traders to another Tick Mill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 27th of June with me, Patrick Munley. Uh, we start the week with the focus shifting to the ECB Forum being held in Sintra, Portugal. Runs from Monday through to the 29th of June. Uh, focus is really going to be on any discussions of the new anti-fragmentation tool and particularly the market will be looking forward to Lagarde's speech on Tuesday at 7 a.m. GMT, 9 a.m. Central European time. And on Wednesday, we get a panel discussion with the Bank of England's Bailey, Bank of International Settlements Carstens, and Fed's Powell uh, will join Lagarde for a policy panel. In terms of data in the US next week, we are looking for Monday's May durable goods orders, looking for a 0.1% print there. So supply issues are an ongoing headwind. Then we move to May pending home sales, looking for a negative 3.5% print. Demand is cooling amid the higher rate environment. We also get the June Dallas Fed Index. Manufacturers concerned with elevated cost pressures there, so looking for a weak print. Then we move to Tuesday, May wholesale inventories. Uh, inventory levels vary considerably across the economy at the moment. Then we get the April FHA house prices. Uh, price momentum is expected to show some slowing as rate hikes begin to take effect. We then get June Consumer Confidence Index, looking for a pullback there and 100 print, inflation worries offsetting the labour market strength. Uh, we also get June uh, Richmond Fed Index, labour and material shortages are a key concern there, so looking for a weaker print. And then moving into Wednesday, we're going to get Q1 GDP, the final print there, looking for a negative 1.4% uh, print, small upward revision expected in the final estimate. We also then have uh, Fed Chair Powell speaking at the ECB Forum on Wednesday. Mr. Anne Bullard will also be speaking. Heading into Thursday, we're looking at May personal income in the US. Uh, looking for a 0.5% print there. Purchasing power is an ongoing concern as households run down their savings. We also get personal spending, looking for a 0.4% print there. Then we get the May PCE deflator, looking for a positive 0.7% print there. PCE inflation looks to have crested, price pressures to slowly abate throughout the remainder of 2022. We also get uh, initial jobless claims, obviously looking for a low print there. Last time out, 229,000. Uh, then we get June uh, Chicago PMI looking for a 58.8% there, uh, lower than the last print of 60.3. Concerns around supply issues obviously remain the focus. Then we round out the week in the US with uh, global manufacturing PMIs, final estimate for the month looking 52.4, May construction spending 0.5% print there, activity supported by home building strength. And we round out the week in the US with the ISM manufacturing looking for a 55.4, robust momentum still evident in manufacturing. Now moving to the charts in terms of the dollar index here on the weekly scale, we're tracking this five wave sequence, we're ultimately looking for a move up to test above 106 with the yearly R3, 106.37. Got some nice momentum divergence developing here. So on the daily time frame, I'm looking for us to trade in a ending wedge pattern here. So whilst we hold the projected support, 103.40s, we can that final push up into 106.30s to 106.50s. From there, I'm gonna be watching for bearish reversal patterns to engage on the short side, uh, initially targeting the move back down below 104. Moving to the Eurozone, and in terms of data, obviously we have that ECB uh, annual forum commencing on Monday. Uh, on Wednesday, we get June economic confidence, Russia-Ukraine still clouding the outlook there. Elevated prices are the chief concern for households in terms of consumer and economic confidence, which will be released on Wednesday. Thursday, we get May unemployment in the Eurozone, looking for a 6.7% print there, tight labor market laying the foundation for potential wage growth in the Eurozone. And then we round out the week with the global manufacturing PMI, uh, final estimate for the month, looking for 52 there. We also get June CPI, uh, looking for an 8.3% there. Price pressures are intensifying and broadening in the Eurozone. So from a technical perspective, the euro dollar, we were looking for uh, tests of this uh, 
106.50 area, the descending, oh, 106.20, sorry, the descending trend line resistance and the uh, pivot, monthly pivot there. Didn't get it. We had a consolidation, another inside week for the Eurozone. So we are consolidating. So really remains the same uh, in terms of the technical perspective here. Whilst we hold below that trend line and the pivots at the 106.20s, 106.30s, uh, the pressure will build on the downside, looking for a break of the prior cycle lows through 103.50. The next downside objective is 102.40. At this stage, it would take a close through the pivot on the daily time frame to suggest this double bottom. It will hold, and then we'd be targeting a move up into range resistance 107.80s, and then if we can get through there, up into the trend channel resistance 109.19. Moving to the UK, and uh, in terms of data, we are our focus moves to the back end of the week, Thursday, get UK Q1 GDP, the final print, looking for 0.8% Q1's gains to be followed by an abrupt slowing in the UK. We also get June nationwide house prices, uh, demand softening as rate hikes take effect. And then we round out the data in the UK on Friday, where we get the manufacturing PMIs, final estimate for the month, looking for 53.4, and main net mortgage lending, uh, 4.1 billion last time, rising rates and slowing economy is likely to start weighing on lending in the UK. So from a technical perspective, sterling dollar, we've got that really nice reversal from our target zone of 120 down that S, um, yearly S3, 119.50s. Haven't really seen any meaningful follow through. We consolidated uh, last week inside the upper range of that uh, weekly rejection candle. So whilst we, can, if we can continue to hold support at the 120.150s, we're going to look for further consolidation and an ultimate break through the trend channel resistance here. And then a move up into the high volume mode 125.20s. However, if we lose that 120, 150 on a closing basis, that will be a bearish development. And we look ultimately for a retest of the prior cycle lows and a move down to test into or below 118 as the next downside objective. Moving to Japan. Pretty light on the data calendar early in the week. We look to Thursday, where we get May industrial production, looking for a negative 0.3% print there, uh, still working through major supply issues in the economy. And then we finish the week on Friday with the second quarter tank and large manufacturing index. Last time printed 14, looking for a 13 as business conditions are mixed, giving ongoing supply issues. And we finish up with the June Nikkei manufacturing PMI, 52.7 final estimate, final print for the month, sorry. From a technical perspective, we are looking for the dollar yen to uh, test into the projected wedge resistance here, 137.50s. From there, we watch for uh, bearish momentum to be maintained, look for bearish reversal patterns to engage on the short side to take out the wedge support here through the 133.19s and we look for a move initially back to 130.130. At this stage, any close back through the uh, support here at 103, uh, sorry, 133.60s, 133.50s would uh, engage gain on the short side, targeting similarly that 131.30s as the first objective on the downside. Rounding things out down under in Australia, we are looking at data uh, starting really on Wednesday with May retail sales, 0.3% uh, print there, loss of momentum in part, a rotation away from retail. And then we move to Thursday with May private sector credit, looking for a 0.6% print there. It's set to slow as rates rise and um, following an oversized rise in the April print. We get Q2 job vacancies, uh, job vacancies are plenty, limited labor supply, as is the uh, situation globally at the moment. And then we round out the week down under with June CoreLogic Home Value Index, looking for a negative 0.7% print there. Uh, last time at zero, uh, negative 0.3%. Uh, downturn is underway as the RBA begins a tightening cycle in May. From a technical perspective, the Aussie dollar is sitting right at the uh, pivotal support here, uh, 68.60s. A nice reversal on Friday, but we've held the pivot. If we can get through there, I would anticipate we get a move up into test range resistance 
7070 uh, area. As long as we hold there and get rejected, ultimately we're looking for a move down to test the 6640s, which is the quality objective on the weekly scale here. Um, any move that uh, sees a close early in the week through that uh, 6840s, I want to be on the short side targeting for a test of that 6640s. And then from there, we'll see if we can get a bullish reversal pattern to develop. And I would be looking to reverse short positions, uh, taking uh, aim at the high volume nodes at just below the 72 handle. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next week, thanks very much.